very happy to give you a talk on the rotator cuff enigma. Rotator cuffs have been, rotator cuff tears have been happening since the beginning of humanity, especially in the elderly, even due to trivial trauma. However, two specialities developed rather at the same time. And one was MRI, other was arthroscopy. Between them, they created new paradigms for treating rotator cuff tears and then started the era of needless surgical interventions. Sorry for the head cutting the slides. As per iOS philosophies, most of these cases need just alpha 1 block in hand and intra-articular ozone in the shoulder. In 20 minutes, the patient becomes normal. I am going to demonstrate in real time and this video is challenging the conventional literature, but live examples do not need further proof. Next is a pre-procedure video of the patient. Watch him wince as the arm comes down and watch the movements. Let shoulder surgeons and arthroscopists watch it carefully. This is the right arm, which is normal, and the left arm. There he has trouble raising it because of torn rotator cuff. There it is painful and he is not able to lift beyond when he comes down. See how he holds it and brings it down. So his MRI reports and advice by the treating doctor are here subsequently. And this was seen and treated by an orthopedic surgeon in a corporate hospital. So it says likely partial tear and second one says full thickness or 80% thickness tear and the orthopedic surgeon has referred it to a shoulder arthroscopist for arthroscopic rotator cuff repair. The patient was not willing for surgery. He came to me. I decided to treat him with alpha 1 blocks and ozone in the shoulder. The next video is how the cocktail is being mixed. That is 2 percent xylocaine, just 2 ml of it. A little air in the wire, in the ampio wire, ensures the um, xylocaine comes easily. That's clonidine. We are using only 30 micrograms of clonidine, which is 0 0.2 ml. With age and experience, we can just draw this volume of amount without using an insulin syringe and here we are using uh, Depomodorol or Kinacot or White Cot only 5 milligram. Not a large dose, a very very small tiny dose because these are excellent sodium channel blockers. So the very very small volume, this is then added with 5 to 6 ml of water for injection so that we have a standardized cocktail which is useful and applicable both for sodium channel blocks and for ozone injections. We do not use the thick needle used for drawing the drugs but a very special 26 gauge long needle which is made special which is purchased specially to ensure that the patient does not feel the pain. Insulin needles are 28 gauge and these are just little just a little thicker than uh, 26 gauge as uh, insulin needles and here you can see as I move away and move apart from the side that Alpha 1 block is being administered. There it goes. We are just giving 4 ml of alpha 1 block. And after that, 
we have to draw the ozone at 70 microgram per liter and this ozone has to be drawn in a latex free syringe that is a very very important part so once the settings are set the ozone pumps out and the syringe is getting gradually filled we need only 6 cc of ozone we have used 20 cc syringe so excess ozone will be pushed out we are using an another needle 26 gauge ultra thin and with this we are going to inject 3 milliliters of the same cocktail intra-articular into the shoulder from the anterior aspect and as the needle is very very thin the amount of pain felt by the patient is not hard not much though we have to push considerably hard to get 3 ml into the shoulder now the very important step the needle is not removed from the shoulder before the ozone is injected so it should stay in the shoulder and multiple pricks of the shoulder are avoided to ensure that we get an arthrodiastasis the nurse gives me the ozone syringe with the appropriate volume which I reduced to 7 cc for the shoulder and through the same needle 7 ml of 70 microgram per milliliter concentration of ozone is injected which causes an arthrodiastasis you can see here in this that I am doing it in slow motion and you can see the pump out action of the shoulder joint which tells us the shoulder is still sealed. I am pumping in the plunger and again you can see the plunger going out to show that the joint capsule was closed and sealed and our ozone is causing an arthrodiastasis. You can see the plunger going in and coming out on its own. Plunger going in and coming out on its own. And then we forcefully burst into the shoulder, causing an arthrodiastasis, which is not very painful because of the very thin needle as well as the alpha 1 block given previously. When the final volumes distend the shoulder, the patient may feel a little pain. Apart from that, it is relatively pain-free. Now, we have to wait patiently for 20 minutes and then we can see the effect of the injection on the patient. The previous video I had done in slow motion to show you the plunger effect and we have to remember that the size of the relief on the patient's face as well as the dramatic movements at the end of the procedure will tell us how justifiable or how useful the procedure is. In this particular case, the patient had also cervical spondylosis for which I have given him a tau 3 block. Now the results in 20 minutes to the utter surprise of the patient who is very happy with the full range of movements. We can now see this is the affected shoulder and look at the surprise on his face that is not only able to raise it fully but despite the so-called rotator cuff and despite his apprehension he is able to get it down. He shakes his head in negative and says that is absolutely no pain. This is not scapulohumeral movement, but a conjoint glenoid and scapulohumeral movement. If you are a doctor with MBBS of high qualification and want to learn more about the revolutionary therapy of ozone or pain portal blocks, please message me in WhatsApp and I shall be happy to send you the details. And please remember that physiological pain portals, sodium channel block and ozone therapy 
are revolutionary game changers in orthopedics. Thank you very much for listening to my talk on the rotator cuff enigma.